Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video course, we are going to explore about data science process. In recent years, the term data science has become more popular due to the influx of data in all the areas of business. That is, we have enormous amount of data in every company and in all the fields like medical, information technology, automobile, finance and so on. One of the core concepts behind data science is using the historical data, that is old data, we have to predict the future. The agenda for this video course as mentioned here from data science introduction then data science process and each process we will learn with the help of amazon product analysis once we complete end-to-end -end process we will learn a sample case study using the kaggle data set then i will split the video based on the topics so that it is easy to learn and remember and also to avoid a lengthy video before starting today's topic and additional information for the new followers, I have already posted a video series on Roadmap to Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. You can learn it either from this website aforeveryone.com in that artificial intelligence. You can find sequence of 7 videos. In addition to that, you can get the free Python notes also. If not, you can check the course in the Udemy. If you are AI aspirant with so many queries, you can check this course. It will clear all your queries like what is the programming language we have to use, what is the mathematical knowledge need for AI, then what are the types of machine learning with real-time scenarios. So I have explained all the topics without any technical terminology, but from now we will be learning only with technical terminology. So make sure you follow the sequence because each video is designed such that complexity level increases step by step. The introduction to data science. Data science is about getting valuable insights from information and answering the questions by analyzing the data using statistical method, computing power and then using automation. So the conclusion is we are going to use the historical data to predict the future. When I say predict the future means it falls under two categories. Classification algorithm or model, regression algorithm or model. Algorithm or model both are same. Let's see each model with real time scenario. You can see here the weather map of India here the color indicates the moving rain clouds. Chennai is approximately near to this point. Now my question is, will it rain tomorrow in Chennai or not? So the answer will be yes or no. It is a binary classification. Only two possible outcomes. It will rain or it will not rain. This scenario we will call it as classification algorithm. Few more example. Everyone will be having an email account. In that you can see inbox and there is a spam filter. What is the use of spam filter? The spam filter will read all the mails and based on some keywords it will try to filter it. And the output is this mail is spam or this mail is not spam which called as classification algorithm. Another example when we do in the online transaction what the company will do based on our previous transactions data it will compare with the present data in case if it finds any deviation from our previous data that is totally different for example i am in india suddenly the transaction is happening in us and the amount is very big amount what exactly the algorithm will do is it will detect this particular transaction is fraud transaction this is also falls under the classification algorithm. The transaction is fraud, not fraud. Hope you understood what is classification algorithm. We will see few scenarios for regression algorithms. In this slide, you can see the weather forecast of Chennai region. Now, my question is, how many millimeter will it rain tomorrow in Chennai? Based on so many factors from this image, we can predict the millimeter of rain either it's 80 mm or 110 mm or 250 mm or whatever it is based on the scale we can predict it 
here the output is a real or a continuous value that is in terms of a quantity this scenario we will call it as regression algorithm a few more examples you can see in the left side predicting the house price based on the area this is more useful for real estate guys in the right side you can see the graph which contain details of furniture sales from 2014 till 2017 this is a old transaction data based on that we try to predict the future for 2017 to 2018 here once again the value is continuous or a real value so this is a example of regression algorithm so the conclusion here is most of the data science project falls under this two category whether the output is a classification or regression classification means it's a binary classification only two possible outcomes regression means it's a real or continuous value we have completed the introduction now comes our core topic data science process if you consider any data science project almost 95 percentage of them will fall under these six steps business understanding data understanding data preparation modeling evaluation and deployment these are all the six data science process in the next video we will learn about business understanding and data understanding that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning